The 2023 general election is fast approaching and the conversation seems to be about how youth participation can be increased in governance. Political parties find themselves under increasing pressure to create a more conducive environment for more youth involvement in politics. Now, the National Assembly is also being urged to revisit the rejected bills seeking more women inclusion in elective and appointive offices. And TVC News correspondent Joke Adisa reports. In 2018, President Mohamed Buhari signed the Not Too Young to Run Bill into law. The act brought about a reduction in the age of those eligible to contest for the various offices. Though some gains have been recorded in the number of youths elected, many here believe a lot more still needs to be done for Nigerian youths to reach the required level of inclusion to gain prominent political representation. The 2023 general election is less than a year away. The Youth Initiative for Advocacy, Growth and Advancement, IEGA, says there has been a marginal growth in youth participation. Post the election, the analysis of national young um, youth representation in elected was at 6.6%, so less than 10%. For a country where young people constitute over 50% of its population, that for me is an injustice. The National Bureau of Statistics put youth unemployment rate at 42.5% in 2020, and this is relatively higher than the overall unemployment rate of 33.3%. Poverty of integrity, high unemployment rate, lack of internal party democracy, shared discrimination, and absence of economic capability are some of the reasons adduced for the low involvement of the youth in politics. I can tell you the amount that I'm earning at this level is not enough to get a, a form for a councillorship in any political party. We can pass so many acts, maybe to help to assist Nigerian youth. Then if we are not seizing the opportunities of the provisions of the act, it's as if it's a lame duck. duck. On the sideline of this policy dialogue is the renewed call for the passage of bills aiming to increase women's participation in governance. The drive for inclusive participation in the country will be complete only when the country takes the bold step to ensure and promote women participation and equality. For the political parties, support and determination are key among the youths. The policy dialogue advocated for more inclusion of women, the youth and persons with disabilities in elective and appointive offices as a sure way of removing Nigeria from the low ladder in inclusive representation in Africa and across the globe. Joke Edson, TVC News, Abuja.